You have done very well. Few could have come this far, let alone discover the true tomb of Talrasha. Unfortunately, I hear that Diablo and Bale have eluded your grasp. This is most unfortunate. If you wish to travel east, I have authorized Mashif to give you passage by sea. I imagine he should be very anxious to leave by now. Good luck on your quest, and thank you again for saving my beloved city. You will always be welcome in Loot Golain, my friend. Good day, Duriel Defeaters! I'm on silence and we're on the air with more Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. It's episode number 58 of Diablo 2. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I was hoping for a, you know, ding to end the quest, but oh well. But yeah, last time out, last time out. Well, that was the bonus episode. The last proper time out, last proper time out. We defeated Duriel in Talrasha's tomb. And wouldn't you know it, uh, Diablo and uh, and Bale are in another castle. Hello. Hello. Jaren tells me I should take you east to Kurast. I haven't been there for several years, but rumor has it things are pretty grim. How grim are they? All right, let's go. Greetings. Uh, greetings. Wow, that was a fast trip, wasn't it? Well, I gave you my word and brought you here as promised. But by all that's still holy, I wish I'd never return to this accursed place. This fetid jungle can't be the fair Kurost I left behind. I don't know what all this evil is, my friend, but it's obvious that you must stop it. I only pray that you can before the jungle consumes the last vestiges of my beloved homeland. Indeed. Hang on a second. I've got... <laughs> Malware Bytes would like to remind me that I've got a new year, new device sale, 40% off. No, that's all right. Welcome to Karas, traveler. Few come willingly to this ancient city anymore. I hope you brought your wits with you, for sanity is in short supply here. My name is Hratli. I am a sorcerer skilled in metalwork. It'd be a pleasure to help you. I don't have many customers these days. As you can see, the populace has been brutally decimated by the forces of Mephisto. The canals run red with blood, and demons roam the land. The wretched jungle hell has already reclaimed much of Karast. The only safety you'll find is here at the dark side, where a magical warning holds the jungle evils at bay. But I don't know how long it will last. To make matters worse, the children of Zakarum are in league with the forces of Mephisto. The Zakarum have concentrated their power in the temple city of Travancol, located within Karas deep in the jungle wilderness. It's true, their zeal is unmatched, but I say the so-called warriors of light are nothing more than the twisted puppets of a hidden hand. Said it wrong, it's Dravinkle! Now he's our trade repair guy. Not that we have anything to trade or repair at the moment. Yes, welcome to Kurast, and we are at Kurast Docks. Our friend Deckard Kane's around here somewhere. Now. Before we get going too far, okay, nope, not there. Natalia, that's who we're looking for, because I recall I bollocked up the Natalia. I don't know if there was a, a special quest with Natalia or what have you, but uh, Natalia kind of vanishes in the middle of Act 3, if I recall correctly, from normal difficulty. So I just got to be a little more cognizant. Had to get that in first. Uh, I have to just be a little more cognizant to just keep checking in before I do too many quests. Just kind of come back and if I'm popping back to visit Decker, just check in on her to make sure that there isn't some progression there that I'm missing. It feels like there, maybe it's just one of those things where we started the storyline and drop it partway through development. I don't know, but. Greetings, hero. I've heard of your exploits and uh, I'm quite impressed. Very few mortals are capable of dealing with the three and their minions, as you have. My name is Natalia. I am a hunter of evil, 
part of an ancient order sworn to hunt down corrupted sorcerers. If I could, I would gladly join your quest to stop the three. But I must wait here for further news. I can't predict what will happen, but the danger is greater than we can know. Until I receive my orders, I'll assist you with the information I have. And then she gets the orders and disappears. I assume you can probably chat her up before that happens, but... I don't quite recall. Hratli's hovel is over here. This is where he usually works out of. Go north on this wooden path here. That'll take us to our good, my good friend and yours. I've not set foot in glorious Kurast for many years, but I never would have imagined it could be so corrupted. Certainly this must be Mephisto's work. You'd best get going, my friend. Diablo and Bale are still out there, and you must find them. Well, that's the plan. One could always hope we pull that shit off. Alcor's up there. Uh, sorry, Orm. Ormus, that's it. Ormus is a little odd sort of fella. Let's try and pick up that first quest. Since it's what the Arachnic Spider Cave or Spider Cavern, Arachnic Cavern. You now speak to Ormus. He was once a great mage, but now lives like a rat in a sinking vessel. You have questions for Ormus, and doubt in yourself. Ormus sees a strange dichotomy in you, as he does in all would-be heroes. Speak to him, and he may grant you wisdom in turn. Or turn from him and seek wisdom in thyself. Well, he likes to speak in riddles, doesn't he? Uh, oh yes, Alcor. Alcor the Alchemist. Damn it! I wish you people would just leave me alone. I... Oh, you're a necromancer, aren't you? I've heard that your kind use powerful potions and such to wake the dead and control spirits. <laughs> I'd love to discuss what components you use sometime. I am Alcor the Alchemist. I dabble in potions and salves myself, and I can sell you some if you really need them. Uh, feel free to drop by any time. I will keep that in mind, Alcor the Alchemist. Love that name. Oh, no, this is the next one for uh, Ashira. Hello there. You must be a great adventure to risk coming here. My name's Ashira, and I lead the mercenary band of mages known as the Iron Wolves. We've been hunting down demons in the jungle for months, but no matter how many of them we kill, they just keep coming. Seems this whole place has been overrun by evil. Rumor has it that you've come here to help. If that's true, then I'll let you hire some of my mercenaries. But be careful. If you piss them off, they can be worse than those monsters out in the jungle. Well, I will keep that in mind. Mind you, I don't think anybody's ever tried to sell me on buying uh, a uh, Act Three mate or um, a mercenary before, but Let's see, if we can head out. Spider Forest. Oh. Oh no! Well, we got him. But that bastard Dark Wanderer has escaped our grasp. So, welcome to the Spider Forest. Now, uh, if it wasn't bad enough to navigate the last time, now we get to navigate it in its bigger guise. Here in uh, thing difficulty and nightmare difficulty, so. Now, our first task will be. Let's say there's some cavern along here that we gotta find. It's a matter of finding it. And 
this is not particular. It's gonna be like last time. It's not gonna be particularly easy. Hell, last time was it the first quest, like one of the last ones I did, because I couldn't find where the hell to go. Well, if you'll notice, I'm kind of stick it to the edges here. Try not to miss anything. Be careful, there's uh, giant mosquitoes here. Oh, champion mosquitoes. Suckers, whatever. Cloud stalkers. A thorned hulk. How susceptible are these things to poison? Yes. The answer is yes. But we want to be careful because there's a wind maimed destroyer there. We've uh, procked a quest along the way. I need one. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. A jade figurine? A worthless statue. Perhaps I can trade this for something better. I can't. Let's get the... Superman anywhere? Yeah. Greater healing. That way we could just... Greater healing my way up. Ask Kane about the Jade figurine. Okay, I guess it's the first quest. Of the day. I guess, yeah, we gotta go back this way because the other way doesn't give us a path back. Oh, no, it does. It's hard to tell. It's not the easiest map to read at the best of times. And this, uh, this area? Definitely not what one called the best of times. Here's all the places we get to go. Back in Loot Golane, Meshif told me he had a fondness for jade figurines. On his trading voyages, he collected an odd assortment of such small statues. I would show him your figurine. Okay. Must we get the other items identified. So what have we got? Let's start a new page for today's collection. But we got this plague splitter flanged mace. Oh, that jade figurine. We got this long bow with enhanced damage and attack rating. So it is a start. Now go show Mashif the figurine. Mashif will be to the north here. And he sends us to what Ormus next or something, right? Oh, that's a Shira. Oops! Wrong turn. We go west, then north to Mashif. Praise you. That jade figurine will complete the set I was collecting. Here, I've had this statuette of a golden bird for years, but I consider it a fair exchange. I got this shit I don't want. So here, have it. Now we get to go talk to Deckard about it. I've read legends about a sage named Kuile who studied the mysteries of life beyond death. If I remember correctly, his ashes were ensconced within a golden statuette. It was a very strange tale. Indeed. And this all helps me how? Because I go talk to Alcor about it. Oh, Alcor, not... Not Ormus. What's Alcor the Alchemist got? Good day. Good day, Alcor. Ah, the golden bird of Quile. Thank you, my friend. Busy yourself while I experiment with the ashes within it. Then return and see what I've made for you. I forget what he makes for us at the end of this quest. But we can. 
Let's see, was there anyone else that... I was gonna say, one, one, uh... One, one quest down. Maybe we could chat with Natalia and see if she's gotten any information for us. I did say we were going to make visits, so... Good day. Doesn't have too much, though. Ashira? Well, she's a tough-talking mage, but I'd wager she's never faced true evil. Pampering drunken mercenaries is one thing, but standing face-to-face -face with a Hellspawn demon is another. I can confirm that from experience. I don't suppose that Rotley has anything? Yes. Apparently not. Alright. Alright. Don't have anything in my inventory at the moment, so we're going to carry on. Go up this way. I, was gonna say, I don't think there was any cutouts here. Got me to any new areas. So we'll go across the bridge here, or log, I guess. What was the toll where again? Oh, that. Grab that super mana. Is there anything over here? Nope, that kind of ended pretty abruptly. Oh, another uh, Thorn Hulk. How, how long was it before I started calling this thing an Ent the last time out? Mana Recharge Shrine. We'll see how bad things get before I... Decide to Mana Recharge Shrine it. Fetish Shaman. Uh, I would say right about now, actually. And what's off in this direction? Is it... Thank you. Oh. And Felisa. Very quick on the draw there. Oh, that's a trap. Oh, you still got... Thorn Hulk's dead. Ooh. Ah, melt fast. When you give him half a chance. Oops, I didn't want to tap that well, but it looks like I've tapped that well. Was it Blade touch the axe? Well, if you're the axe, I'm the smash. The demolition walking disaster. Was that a case of good old unsilent making a wrestling reference? Why, by God, it was. Back out! <laughs> that, was un that was unintentional, but pretty effective. Oh yeah, these little bloodsuckers nail your stamina. Which could be moderately problematic. Scroll Town Portal. Oh, so this is just a little cutout, but it's got nothing. I was hoping this would have like an. I am overburdened. Oh, I'm okay. Here for now. Where's that? Yeah. Oh, the well's already. Top back up. A little disappointed. I was hoping that we would have. Unless it's at the far, far end. Get some more gold out of the cocoon. Now, just the way it looked like on the map. I wasn't sure if we had found ourselves our first uh, spider cavern somewhere in the spider forest, but. Not yet. That would have been too easy, wouldn't it? Uh, 
Oh, just an oil potion. And just because I said it was on the... Just because it was on the right the last time, does it mean it will be again this time, so... Then again, there's another cut to the... Right here. This could be nothing. It could be everything. So, it'll be interesting to see. How does one play this out? I mean, besides very carefully. Oh, flawless skull. Oh, and some gold. Damage scythe, nothing too exciting. See who we can get from range. We got a greater healing potion into that thing. Some cash. Poison works very well against these guys. If you hit them, they're pretty dead pretty fast. That does... Oh, oh. Also does demonstrate that there's more crap off to the right here. Okay, no. So they were firing in that direction, but I guess we can't go in that direction. Okay. Now, where's a previous crossover point? Because we got that one there, that's fine, but... Don't want to have missed anything. Oh, well, I guess I just fired off a little fast. Start uh, hammering away on a few of them. Corpse there with the Scroll of Town portal, which he should have used if he wasn't an idiot. But he was, so he didn't. And lesson is learned. Well, for me, not him, because he's, he's dead. Oh, man. Magi trying to dive in like they are, uh, like they are frontline infantry. Not realizing that they are not the, uh, first wave. They are not frontline. And nothing. Here's some shit, though. I think some cash there as well. How are we doing for cash anyway? 9,700. Not, not awful. I mean, cash is after all good. No, well, nothing there. And cross over there. Got that one. Before they could get me. I won't say it's a cutout here, just so much as a... I was gonna say, it's not even a diverged path, this is the path. Oh. Well, gotta be careful for the fetishes. Don't want to, uh... Careful, because we got more of these hulks. They are hulks. They are not incredible, but they are hulks. Oh, there's a. I am overburdened. I am. Oh. 
None of this is helping. Put those there. Shark skin boots. Just put straight in there. As can this skull. Flawless skull, in fact. Nothing there. Yeah, I realize there's that path off to the left I could look into. What is that path off to the left? That's gotta be... I mean, it could be spider gimmick, but that could be, uh... Flare... This is, there's a flare village that we also... And then we could also stumble into, isn't there? Uh, then again, maybe this... Spider Forest Waypoint. There's a bunch of things that... Oh, wait, there. I see a uh, arachnid layer. Arachnid layer. Wait, this is the one that is the one that we're looking for, right? <laughs> Try to remember, right? Wait, there, there... Because there was one that I found that was like, Oh, this has to be it, and then it wasn't it. That guy down. Get this cloud stalkers down. Get some more of these guys down. Grab that rejuvenation potion. All right, let's go to the arachnid layer. Actually, let's go to this first. That way we can identify, offload. Good to see you. And you as well, Deckard. It's plus four to energy, not exciting. Uh, Boots of Restoration, nah. This is just durability and there's faster hit recovery, but it's like, eh. That's all better things that generally work out better than for what I got, so. From the ashes of Quile, I have mixed for you a potion. That's good, thank you, Alcor the Alchemist. So add 20 to life, okay. Well, I would like to sell these Boots of Restoration for $9,800. And I would like to sell these Boots of Balance for $9,200. Cash is good. And while I'm here, let's add 20 more points to life. There you can see at the bottom left, 392. And we're up to 412. How about that? Every little bit helps. Oh, hi, Deckard. What have you got to say? Never forget that your ultimate purpose here in Kurast is to destroy Mephisto. The ancient Horodrim imprisoned the Lord of Hatred inside the Guardian Tower that is located within the temple city of Travancall. Know this, friend. The only way to gain entry to Mephisto's prison is to destroy the artifact known as the Compelling Orb. Mephisto used this device to control the Zakarum priests and their followers. The orb can only be destroyed with an ancient flail imbued with the spirit of the one incorruptible priest. Soon after his imprisonment, Mephisto worked his evil corruption on the Zakarum priesthood. All were turned to his dark ways, save one. Kalim, the K. Hagen of the High Council. Mephisto directed the other council priests to slay and dismember Kalim, and then scatter his remains across the kingdom. The priest Sankakur succeeded Kalim as K. Hagen, 
eventually becoming the embodiment of Mephisto here on the mortal plane. The corrupted High Council fashioned an orb to control the rest of the Zakarum faithful and used their powers to hide the lair of their master from mortals. Your task is to collect the scattered relics of Kalim, his heart, his brain, and his eye. Then, using the Horodric Cube, transmute Kalim's flail with his relics. Once this is accomplished, you must destroy the compelling orb with Kalim's will to open the way into the corrupt sanctum of Mephisto. Did everyone write down those notes? No, I didn't think so. But fortunately, we got a quest. Oh. Also that. Kaleem's will, we gotta search for his eye in the spider cavern. Spider cavern, not... Arachnid lair. Okay, see, I was right. It wasn't the same thing. See, I remember these little things. Gotta find his eye first. Since we're on to the next quest... Okay, we're just gonna bug Natalia really fast. I don't... There, there can't be much to it, right? Hello. Hello. I must admit, your foolish quest made little sense to me. But now I see the value of your actions. I believe you do possess great wisdom. Well, not too many people agree with you on that, but hey, whatever. Ashira? Oh, she's a tough... Eh, yeah, you already said that one. Ashira? You've only got the one thing to say, alright. Not that exciting. I wonder why we skipped you the last time. So somewhere in the spider forest is a spider cavern. Not the... Arachnid lair. It is a bit of a dick move to name them so... Incredibly similar. But... I guess that's my problem to deal with since everyone else has had to deal with it. Oh. Refilling shrine, right? Well, I already burned through my new uh, 20 points of health, so. Let's go to the right, because you always go right, right? So I got a good feeling about this. Oh, there's a stash there, maybe, eventually. Cash, cash, stash, axe, suicidal golem. Oh, you got it. Alright. Now, I want to go back to the south a bit. Before we progress too far to the north, then we find nothing. Well, it was an idea. Not a successful idea, but an idea. Entering the Great Marsh, which means we have... We are not in the right spot. That's the Great Marsh. The Great Marsh is just like a, a large line. Which we have to not cross, because inside this part... Ah! More are these guys? 4 and 13 gold. Guys keep getting me. A crude sped him a greater mana. There's that thorned hulk. Where'd that greater uh that one? Away with you. I'm looking here, I'm looking at the ground, I'm looking at the mini-map. This looks like another one of those places where we could... Like, it looks like cobweb, you know, spider webs, right? So in my head, this would be a good place to put a spider cavern. That being said, 
we may not necessarily get. These spider cavernettes, they're all poison, guys. Ah, see? I was right. It was a good place for a spider cavern. And I didn't want to leave it till the 47th episode of the, uh, of the act, so... Like last time. Where it was the last part of Kaleem's will that we picked up. Was, uh... Was the eye from the spider cavern, which was, like, in the last act... It was about a 20 second walk outside of town. Or not the last act, the last difficulty. It was a 20 second walk outside of town. And this time it was like, okay. It's literally at the far end, right next to the Great Marsh. So, it's... Can we go in? <laughs> Can I click correctly? No. Duh. All right. All this shit was mazes. Or mazei, I believe, is, is the plural. Oh, this looks painful from a minimap perspective. Ow! That thing bit hard. Poison spinners? Drops a cleaver? Now, only one level on the spider cavern. Just a bit out of range, isn't he? Oh, Amp Lisa, we have got to talk, girl. Oh, it's not... It's not just you, okay. I don't have any more graders, I just got that. Alright, that's fine. Was it Grief Grumbled Hungry? Sounds like if John Silver had a Diablo 2 character name. I can't carry Oh, it was Paladin only? God damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I think I missed that click. Missed that click badly. We found a corner of the ma ma map, maze, map, map. Yes. Fiends. Oh, there's a pulse fester. More spiders. Or spinners. Whichever. However one wants to phrase it. Oop. Oh, they got poisoned. Drop down. Okay, that's that area. A cocoon with some chain boots. I think we found the upper left corner of this as well. There's an amp Lisa amp damage. Just gonna poison these boys down. Fiends and fiends and fiends. I Apparently, I need mana.
These guys do a lot of damage to my skellies. There's a mana shrine. Well, that is convenient. I didn't catch who that was there. So we got those guys. Flame spiders. Give me a second. Just need to do that. All right, Sazark the Burning is Sazark the Dead. Did that thing recharge yet? No. Anyone else that didn't get blown up is... And for... No one else got told to chill out? I am overburdened. Am I? Oops. I'm not paying attention. Finish him off. Quick, quick, quick. Stabby. Stabby. Runny. Runny. Lots of things. Including Kaleem's eye. Now we gotta search in the player dungeon for Kaleem's brain. Mmm, brains. 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 Deckard wants to chat. Good day. Good day, Deckard Kane. Ah, Kalim's eye. Only it can reveal the true path to Mephisto. Place the eye in the Herodric cube along with Kalim's other relics. The heart, the brain, and the flail. And by my powers combined, something, something, Captain Planet. But yes, we can put Kaleem's eye back on page number one. Right there. What else we get? We got the, oh, not, not the most exciting, uh, serpent skin armor of absorption. But it's got lightning resist, which is incredibly important Considering that one is about to go up against Diablo, who's got lightning breath in a little bit. What else do we get? We got this. Holy balls. Did I say I had a pal character? Thought I said I did. Hang on. Which which one's the shared stash? Might be a bit. Before I get to that. With the paladin character I never use, but... I really got to play more of this game outside of this. But I've been saying that about this and Star Wars The Old Republic. I mean, I can't do it so much. I can do it a little bit for Pokemon. And, um, flat out, not so much. Just because, like, this at least I could create other characters and play it. And it's like, Pokemon, can I? I don't think so. Didn't used to be able to, anyway. Sweater, yes you can. Uh, flat out, I mean, I could create other profiles, but it's like, eh. You know, it's racing. I've already done the races, so. Hunter's bow probably, eh, no. Because I got, oh, I could grab a squirrel temp portal. Because it, whatever I end up giving to Amp Lisa's, or what I've already given to Amp Lisa's is already better. Hell, I was running a better one in the last episode. Did you miss the bonus episode last time out? Because you want to catch that, because it involves me using a bow and arrow. Oh. 
One last one. There's some gold there. Oh no, there's a little more off to the bottom left. We haven't quite hit the bottom left of the map. But now we have. So we have, in fact, reached the end of the map. So there you go. And see, if we had gone to the left instead of the right, we would have been done a hell of a lot faster. Who would have thunk it, right? Or left. Right, left, left, right, right. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. See, that was... Oh. See, that was what we found coming back this way. From the Great Marsh area. Because... This glitch, this glitch still exists. Oh! A yellow bounce knife. Some big thorn hulks. Oh, cracked crown. Yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of space around here. So yeah, these, these jungles were pretty massive the last time we were here. And now things have just gotten significantly worse. Since we've come back, right? That's the end of the space. God, could you imagine... ...examining all this space? Having to find, like, needles in haystacks? This just keeps going on and on, my friend. Some people started searching it not knowing what it was, and they'll continue searching it forever because this is the area that never ends. It doesn't work very well at the... At the this is the map that never ends. It goes on and on, my friend. And that, that works a little better, some people. Started searching it, not knowing what it was, and they'll continue searching it forever. Something, something. This is the song that ne no wait, not isn't it? Uh, this is the map that never ends. It goes on and on, my friend. Some people started searching it, not knowing what it was, and they'll continue searching it forever because it's, I don't. I feel like I'm missing a beat in there, right? I'm either adding a beat or taking out a beat. You know what I'm saying? Ah, Flare Jungle! This is what I'm looking for. So the Flare Jungle is to the west. Alright. Good. Now, who remembers where the freaking... Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. And there's a cutout back that way. Okay. So I think that means we've exhausted... Poison that guy. Eventually got him. Oh, nothing. Tap the well. So, alright. Nope. Now nope, we've successfully gotten through the spider forest and found where the flare jungle is. It's just a hop, a skip, and a jump away. From this waypoint, which is convenient because we know where we gotta go next time because the flare jungle is where we're going to find Kaleem's brain, was it? 
It's his brain or his heart, right? So. One or two other, right? Now we've got one of those bits in. One last trip to Natalia, just in case. Yes. Anything? Brotley is a master craftsman. My order could make use of one with his unique skills. One of these days, we're going to figure out where she's off to. You guys probably already know. But damn it, if there's something that... If there's one thing I can discover in this go-through, right? It is what the hell happens to Natalia. Anyway. We'll uh, come back to that next time on Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. But until we see you for that... I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle the ease. On silent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget you can check out more Diablo and Diablo 2 in the playlists. They're on the screen in the description down below. And more videos in each time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next time.